welcome to a lovely, lovely plant chores video. The agenda for today's video is to move some of my plants to semi-hydro, to repot some plants, maybe chop some plants, maybe take care of some moss poles. We'll see, we'll see. We're gonna have a cozy little plant chore day. So please, if you have any plant chores of your own, grab them, let's do them together. It's always more fun to do these things together. I, myself, love doing plant chores while watching others. So I hope I can bring that same joy to some of you all. If not, grab yourself a cozy little beverage. I am drinking a little salted caramel latte. Mm. So good. And grab yourself a little snack and just get cozy. And yeah, let the plant chores commence. First things on the agenda is I wanna move some of my plants to semi-hydro. Now I never used semi-hydro before, so this is my first time. And I actually got the Soil Ninjas equivalent of Pawn, which is their uh, semi-hydro, and I got it in the coarse one. And I really, really love how this semi-hydro looks. It looks so beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from my face. Hopefully that, that's in focus, but yeah, it looks so gorgeous and I am really excited to use it. I of course hear a lot of good things about Pawn and Semi Hydro in general from the plant community, but I never tried it. I was honestly kind of scared and also I've been kind of set in my ways of just growing in soil. So this is a brand new experience for me and I am jumping in deep. Of course, the plant that everybody I believe thinks of when they think of Semi Hydro are alocasias. So I have three alocasias that I want to get into Semi Hydro. I have my alocasia black velvet. I have my alocasia fry deck, who is not looking that gorgeous right now. And I have two little separate pieces of alocasia scalperum. So those are the plants that we're gonna be working on right now. Here's the thing, this is, you probably shouldn't do this. You probably shouldn't transfer from soil to pond directly, especially not with plants that you love because when transferring plants from any medium to any other medium, there is always gonna be stress and there is the potential of losing plants. Now, I am very, very YOLO with my plant care. And honestly, if I lose a plant, I'm, I'm not that bummed about it. I mean, I love all of these plants, otherwise I wouldn't have them. But at the end of the day, they, they are just plants and this hobby for me is very much about experimenting. So let's get it started, shall we? And I think I'm actually gonna start with the scalperum. So I have these two pieces of my alocasia scalperum. And this is such a beautiful, gorgeous plant. I got it a couple of months ago, or like last spring, I believe, and it promptly rotted. It promptly rotted, it got attacked by spider mites, all of the things. And then I had two little corms, so I saved them. One of them, I, one of them actually recently rotted, so that's why it was in water. And the other one is doing pretty good in soil, but I wanna transfer it to semi-hydro, so let's go ahead and do just that. I'm gonna ooh, take it out of the soil. And yeah, this, this, this one has really, really healthy roots, which I am very excited to see. Now, I didn't do a lot of research on semi-hydro, mainly because, again, I am, I am a very, very lazy plant parent. I, like, the less effort I can put into something, the better for me. But the thing that I know about semi-hydro is that you do need to remove all of the soil because you do not want any organic matter to sit in water. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, of course, when, when removing such a large amount of substrate from, from an established plant, you will lose some roots, especially the little secondary roots. But honestly, I am I'm not too bummed about that. Again, my plant care is very relaxed. It's very chill. I used to be a very big helicopter parent, but then I realized that I just don't need to do that anymore. And I want to do it because plants will die, plants will rot, plants will get pests, and you can't really stop that. That's kind of part of the, of the process. And I've just kind of accepted it 
and learned to live with it. Alrighty, but these roots are looking so freaking gorgeous. This one doesn't have the best root system, but I do hope it will be fine. Okay, so I am actually going to go ahead and rinse these roots off real quickly just to get um, any of the excess soil off of there. And then I think I might even plant it back in this little cup, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm either going to plant it in this little cup or get a cover pot. Okay, let's, let's see what our options are. But first I need to rinse this, these roots, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I washed the roots. Not completely, just kind of uh, got any loose soil off. I don't think it's that important to get every single piece off, but I also did grab a little nursery pot. This is a clear 12 centimeter, I believe. Yeah, 12 centimeter pot. And hmm, the way I'm gonna use semi-hydro, I'm, I'm not gonna use any self-watering pots because I don't know, I do, I do still like to water my plants. I just want them to be in a medium that kind of can give them consistent water in case I forget, which I sometimes do. I'll start watering these from the top and then gradually I will increase the water reservoir uh, with these. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's gonna be fine. But yeah, I think, oh, uh, a root just came off. That's okay. But yeah, I think this, is this too big? I don't know, honestly. Like this cup feels too small. Mm. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. I just went ahead and rinsed some of this semi-hydro because you need to rinse this stuff because it is very, very dusty. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on the top about one third of the way, maybe even a bit more because you don't want to uh, the roots to touch the bottom of the pot and the reservoir basically. So I think that should be okay. So a little bit more than one third of the way. I do have to say this stuff looks absolutely beautiful like it looks so stunning i have even been thinking of using it as kind of like a top uh to top soil situation because it just looks really beautiful okay so we're gonna go ahead and backfill her Ooh, okay my first semi hydro plant i am extremely excited i don't know how this is gonna go also, again, you should probably use more caution and actually, you know, transfer your plants maybe to water first or fluval or something like that. But I am, I'm not doing that. But you know the saying, do as I say, not as I do. So please do use some common sense. Do your own research on this topic. Because I'm not, I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be one. I'm just a guy who likes plants, and I love trying out new, new things with my plants. And honestly, like I said in the beginning, even if something does go wrong and I lose a plant, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. Plants are replaceable, and honestly, even most of the time, you can save them, even if something does go wrong. Like, if you notice it soon enough, you can definitely save it. And I will be monitoring these plants and watching them like a freaking hawk. You can be sure of that. Okay, this is looking very, very cute, I must say. I'm, I'm loving the way this pond looks. And it's actually pretty secure in the pot. I didn't think it would be. But, yeah, here we go. This is what she is looking like. And we will see how she will take to the transition. Like I said, I will, in the beginning, I will try to only top water it like a normal, like I would normally do with any other plant. And then I will slowly transition it into having a little bit of a reservoir, then a little bit of bigger one, and then like the 
the one that I wanted to be in like full time basically. So yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll see if she will be happy with that. That's the, that's the million dollar question right here. Okay, next up we have my alocasia black velvet. Now this plant y'all, this plant has been struggling with some spider mites. Where is that one? She had a leaf that was quite badly damaged. I guess I chopped it off. You can probably see some leftover spider mite damage. And also I think, I think she might have a little bit, a case of the root rods. I tend to neglect this plant. I tend to not water her so, Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that smells, that smells rotty, but oh well, oh yeah, this is, this is, I don't think this is good, but mm, I mean, I don't really, I don't really see any roots, I mean, yeah, they're falling off, <laughs> they are falling off, but that's all right. That's all right. Again, this is such uh, an accessible plant. So even if I were to lose it, I, I wouldn't be like, I can always replace it if I want to. Oh my God, look at, <laughs> look at this root. This is crazy. But yeah, I can always replace it if I want it. Uh, it's, not, it's not that pricey or hard to get. God, this, this, this chunk of soil, I guess that was in the old mix that it came with. But yeah, I do see some dried up roots, some root rottage, but honestly, she's not that bad. Like I was expecting a much, 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 much worse situation. This is pretty, pretty manageable. Like I think, the roots that oh god i'm getting soil all over myself i believe that the roots that she does have are pretty healthy they look pretty all right okay i'm also while i'm here i'm gonna clean some of these sheaths because that is always so freaking satisfying and it's hard to get them off when they're planted because I'm scared of damaging the plants. So now is the perfect chance to get some of these off. Always so, so satisfying. I was scared that the rhizome, this little bit was rotted, but it's not, it's actually in pretty good shape. Like if I press it, I don't feel anything mushy, which is great because with alocasias, if the rhizome starts to rot, there is, there is little saving of that plant. But yeah, alrighty, this is looking nice. Let's see the little babies, the little babies. Okay, this one, this one has a very tiny root system. I don't know if this one will make it. Like this root system is so minuscule. I'm not sure, but we will see. And then we have a third part, which does have okay-ish roots. The rhizome is also okay. Yeah, this, this is the one that has like the one just giant, or not giant, but long root. So, okay, also she has a little, she started working on a little corn baby which is cute but that's not what you need to do girl you need to focus on growing your beautiful lovely leaves i seriously love the leaves on the black velvet when they're healthy they're so dark they're so gorgeous so yeah i do hope that she will like semi hydro because that would really mean the world to me all righty so I actually am thinking that I'm gonna reuse this nursery pot. I'm definitely gonna wash it because it is dirty as all hell, but I think I'm gonna wash it and get all the soil off of me first. <laughs> wash it, wash the roots, and then get it all situated in there. I think that's, that's a good course of action. So 
I will be right back. And we are back. I washed the pot, I washed the plant, I rinsed some more semi hydro. So let's go ahead and get this girl ported up and see how we're gonna do. But yeah, I think this sized pot will be good. Also, once again, my method, I'm not sure it's the correct method. It's probably not. You should probably uh, listen to the pros and do as they say and use like self-watering pots and all of that jazz. I definitely recommend that. There are a lot of amazing, amazing creators who do use pawn very successfully. I know uh, Melissa uses pawn, uh, Leafy Diva. Like they're just really, really amazing creators who who have a lot of a lot of success and knowledge on pawn. I do hope that one day, I don't know, we'll see. Again, I am I was very set on my ways with soil growing for such a long time, and I never thought I would switch to semi hydro, but honestly, just the more I researched about it. It's not even about the ease of care for me. I mean, sure, it would be nice to maybe have a few lower maintenance plants, but I, I love to take care of my plants. Not saying that somebody who uh, uses a lot of pollen doesn't love taking care of their plants. Not at all. I think pollen is sometimes even more work than soil. However, in the, it, for me, it wasn't about the benefits of, you know, not having to water as frequently or, you know, not, not having to check if I need to water and stuff because I do like to water my plants. So that wasn't a factor for me. For me, it was mostly about giving my plants the opportunity to grow really nice and beautifully. God, this is going to be, this is going to be kind of a setup to get it right. But yeah, it was just the opportunity for my plants to grow nice and big and luscious and get the full potential out of them, you know? And I'm not saying that I will achieve that with semi-hydro and I don't have like any expectations from it. Like, I don't believe my plants will magically grow amazing if I just change the substrate. Like, I do believe what's more important than the substrate are your conditions. Is your lighting, is your humidity, is your temperature even? All of those things, I believe, play a much, much bigger role than the substrate because if you have really good conditions, your plants can grow in straight up peat moss. So definitely your conditions should come first, but of course I don't have greenhouse conditions i keep most of my plants or like all of my plants i like most of my plants i keep most of my plants indoors in this studio which doesn't get a ton of light i have one really big east facing window and that one gets really beautiful light and the plants on there are very very successful however it's it's not a lot of space and it fills up fast and big plants take up a lot of room so, you know, I can't expect perfection from a plant that is not growing in its, in its natural habitat. And I think that's something we really have to be realistic in this hobby. I mean, there are people who grow amazingly, amazingly beautiful plants in their house. But not all of us have the the conditions or the opportunities to do that. So I'm just trying to provide the best that I can with what I have and just hope that my plants will thrive. Also, I will say semi-hydro gets pretty hefty. Like this pot is pretty damn hefty, but here she is, she is done. And again, I just love how this pond looks. It is so beautiful. I would literally use this for just top dressing my plants okay the next one hurts a little bit just a little bit because it is my variegated alocasia fry deck and she is looking wop 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 not good not good at all 
she was, oh, almost spilled my semi hydro. She was looking gorgeous earlier this summer, had like kind of this size leaves, even bigger. Gorgeous variegation. She was just thriving in my west facing window, which is a small window, but she was thriving there. And then she got attacked by spider mites. And I also do think that she might have a case of the root rots. So yeah, I am sad. I'm sad. I'm saddened by this one, but it is, it is fine. Again, these are becoming more and more available. So they're not as pricey. I didn't pay for this specimen that much money. So I don't feel that bad experimenting with it. I will say, I will say word of caution that if you do have plants that you care about and or that are expensive or rare or whatever, do not, I repeat, do not do something like this. This is me experimenting and trying out pawn or semi-hydro for the first time. I would not do this with some of my expensive divas because there is a high, 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 high likelihood that I will um, encounter some loss and that some planes might die. And that's just something that I am fine with if any of these three plants were to die. I mean, I would definitely be the most upset about the, about the fry deck, but again, it is just a plant. I can get another one if I really want to. Plus, honestly, alocasias are just I have I have a I have a love hate relationship with alocasias. When they're gorgeous, also this root ball. This root ball is so freaking compact. I'm gonna be breaking roots. I'm gonna be breaking roots on this one. But yeah, alocasias are such a love hate relationship because when they are healthy and thriving they are some of my favorite planes some of the most beautiful planes i have ever seen especially the friday the friday when she is thriving man man the beauty the freaking beauty of this plant is undeniable however they are such divas and they can so easily go downhill and so fast literally so fast this plant was looking so gorgeous and then she just one day out of the blue decided you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna die i'm just gonna you know that <laughs> they love to do that they love to wake up one day and have suicidal thoughts and just want to leave the planet and there is not much you can do god okay this this soil it's very wet and it's very compact i am i'm not a fan <laughs> i am not a fan at all like this, this, the inside portion, it's so compacted. I don't know, did I not? I guess that was the old soil and I didn't remove it when I was repotting it. Because I know that I did repot this and I did use the Monstera and Philodendron mix from Soil Ninja, which is a much chunkier mix than this. But I do feel a lot of peat on the inside. So I guess I didn't remove the the peat the first time around and i think that was i think that was a mistake i hate 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 the the substrates that most nurseries use there are some nurseries that are really good and responsible but most of them use just that horrible horrible peat and i i hate that so much i try to remove it at all cost even if i do damage some plants I don't care that that stuff is not staying in my home because it is absolutely atrocious. I mean, if I had like beautiful greenhouse conditions, sure, that's fine. But like in my conditions, in my dark, low humidity space, no, no ma'am, no ma'am, chunky only, chunky only. I pretty much use the Monstera and Philodendron mix on all of my plants because it's just nice it's nice it's chunky and it works and my plants love it good god this is ridiculous <laughs> Alrighty. oh god oh okay this is fun i found a little corn you won't be able to see it because it's covered in soil but it's a little corn it's not very very far uh, far gone what's what's the word it's not very developed 
So I don't think, I don't know, I don't think it will succeed and sprout, but I will, I will try to sprout it because if I can get more Alocasia fried eggs, sign me up. I might divide this because there are a few pups in here. I might divide it. I think it'll be, it'll make my life a little bit easier. So if you don't like to hear the sound of crunchy, crunchy roots, I recommend you look away. <laughs> Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, we got one out. She has not a lot of root, but that's fine. Also, there is another little quorm, and I am gonna take it off. I don't think it will sprout because it's too small, but honestly, I don't want her to focus on quorms. I just want her to focus on the transition. Also, this will really stress her out, god. Like, alocasias are very stress prone plants to begin with this will this will i don't have high hopes for this one let's just say that but it is what it is we shall prevail and we shall continue and we will see where the road will take us you know okay we're, we're definitely making some progress now which is fabulous. I might not even need to... Oh, is that another corm? Oh, that is another corm. And it's a fat one as well. Is it a corm? I seriously can't tell if this is... No, this is a corm. Oh my god, look at it. It is huge. I mean, not huge, but like, it's pretty big. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try to sprout that one. Okay, this is this is reassuring, just in case, just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong, I do have backup plants, which is great. Okay, we have another little piece. And then oh, we have these babies. These babies won't survive if I detach them. This part also might not survive, but let's just do it. Let's just do it and see how she will do. Also, I might keep like... I might keep a section, I might separate them and put them, should, should I separate them? What do you think? I, I wish I had like your live feedback, or like not separate them, I already separate them. But should I put them in like separate pots? Because I feel like four plants in one pot might be a bit much, but I do like the look of a very full bushy alocasia so i don't know but i do think i i do think i'm gonna just stuck them all back into the same pot because i do not like having multiple of the same plants i don't like having i don't like that only if I really, really, I'm trying to think if I have any multiples. I'm sure I do. I must have. I must have. I mean, I have Pothos. Pothos, but that doesn't count. Pothos is like a filler <laughs> plant. Um, so that, that in my, in my eyes, that doesn't count because I used Pothos more as a decoration and a space filler than like a plant. But I don't know. Do I have like a plant that I really love and have a duplicate of? I am not sure. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. Alrighty. That's that's interesting. Okay. I got most of the soil actually off. I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna give it a rinse. And hmm, look, this pot. This pot seems very small for all of that. So I think she will definitely get a pot upgrade. I do have a. To, uh, what is this? This is a 90 centimeter. Hmm. This might work. This pot might work. Also, I would love to pot her deeper. Um, but I don't think that's going to be possible. I don't know. Should I use this pot? Is it too big? Like, is it too big? What was this one? This one is 15, I believe. Like, is that too big of a jump? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna go with it, but I don't know if I have a cover pot this big. So that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue. Okay, let me see what I actually have on storage and then I will decide. Yeah, let's do that.
I found a cover pot that will work for this large 19 centimeter pot. I actually stole it from my Cebu Blue, but that one is living up there. You can't see it, but it's living up. So I don't really even notice the cover pot and yeah, she'll get another one. But, oh Jesus Christ, this one will require a lot of pawn. And I don't know how to... I don't want this pawn to spill everywhere. So I think I'm going to do this. Just so it doesn't come out of the drainage holes. Because as you can see, these drainage holes are quite big. So, yes. Alright, let's put... Also, I don't know if I'll even have enough... Okay, that was loud. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll have enough semi hydra. Okay, I think that should be enough because I wanna I wanna plant this one pretty deep. Mm. Yeah, I think this will work. Maybe just add a little bit more. Yeah, I think this will work. And then I'm gonna actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna put a layer over these roots because this is the like biggest part of the plant. And then I will plant the, the little guys around it. I think that is gonna be a good strategy. Oh, don't fall over, please. Please. Okay, and now she should be somewhat stable. Somewhat stable? Are we somewhat stable? We're somewhat stable. Okay, there we go. And then I can, okay, I definitely think I'll need more semi-hydro. Damn. This stuff really, you need a lot of it. Alrighty, so now I want to put the little babies. Little babies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna put you like so. Get your root in there. Get your root in there, sir. Okay, put you there. And this is gonna look so chaotic whenever you replant. Replant? Replant. We're not replanting, we're repotting. Whenever you repot plants, it always looks so freaking chaotic before it looks better. Where's that last part? Okay, so turns out that I lost one of the pieces. I don't know where it is. Eh, whatever. It was a small piece anyway. It probably wouldn't survive. So I'm just gonna do these three. Please cooperate with me. Okay, 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 okay. This pot feels massive. But, mm, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe I sh maybe I don't need to fill it like completely to the brim. Like maybe this even is perfectly enough. I think it is. I think this is perfectly acceptable in my humble opinion. Okay, I mean the plant isn't. Oh, there was water in there. The plane's not going anywhere, so yeah, I think that's fine. And that is her, and she is dripping all over me. I guess I didn't drain that drain that semi-hydro that well. But what I will do, actually, because as you can see, the water is still quite brownish. And I will go outside and give these a good, good water. So I want uh, everything to drain out of the drainage hole, which is another part or another reason why I want to use my normal plastic nursery pots because they have drainage holes and then I can flush out the medium ever, every so often. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we only have one more task to do for today because my back is already starting to hurt and I'm old and I don't have the energy, but it involves this little girly. I don't know if you can see her, but yeah, you, you're next online, but she's not going into semi-hydro. She's going into normal soil, but more on her in a bit. Um, back, 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 back again. 
and I took a little bit of a break, so if the lighting is a bit different, that's why. Oh, let's get on to our last task of the day, which involves my lovely little Gloriosum over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so as you can see, she is, well, I don't know if you can see. Let me, let me flip her around. Oh, I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. Um, she is at, wait, where's the camera? She is at the edge of her pot, so she needs a repot. And also, I want to repot her because she is currently in this terracotta planter, which is heavy as all hell. Oh, Jesus. And transporting her and watering her is quite difficult. So I will be putting her into one of these. Now, this is a crawling plant, which is why I am using a rectangular planter. And I'm not a fan of crawling plants because they do take up a lot of space and a lot of substrate. And yeah, but I do want to make an exception for this beauty because she is gorgeous. Obviously, this plant isn't nearly at its full potential. These leaves can get huge, but I've kept it in pretty much low light all its life. Also, granted, I only had it for like a year, but I want her to have a better life situation. So we're going to be moving her into a plastic pot. This is just a pot that I had, like my mom actually had this from her garden. So I was like, why not just use it? Like, it's not particularly pretty, but I don't want to spend a heap amount. I don't want to spend like a lot of money on a pot for a plant that... I like, I like, but she's not like my baby or whatever, so I'm not too invested in her. But yeah, I actually did chop this plant. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I did chop it quite a while ago. So this is actually, I believe, three separate plants in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, unpot her. This is, I don't know, if, I don't know how to do this without without damaging the plant. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. Also, this is another one that was fighting with pests, mainly thrips, but I'm pretty sure she also had spider mites. Oh yeah, see, this is why I don't like terracotta very much anymore, because the roots get stuck. And I don't, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to damage anything, but I probably will. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, she's coming out. She's coming out. Maybe let's, let's actually take out this, this small section first, or I guess everything will come out. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Jesus Christ. Alrighty. We have, where's that? Oh God, did I bury a section? Oh no, they're both here. <laughs> they're both here. They're both here. We're all right. We're all right. Okay. 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 Jesus. Let me separate them. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is, this is, this is messy, but she has pretty healthy roots. They're covered in soil and they're quite dry. The soil is quite dry. So yeah, she will definitely need a good watering, but I, oh, I literally poked my nose with that. I just wanted to give it a little smell and I don't smell any rot, which is great. But yeah, she has a pretty, pretty good root system. So I am very happy with that. All right, let's get this out of the way. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of freaking soil. All righty. And then we have the little babies which are are there two yes there are two there are two there are two yeah so this is the little guy she only has like one big root but it, it, it looks healthy it looks healthy oh did i just snap the i literally just snapped the growth point in this wow wow <laughs> oh well okay it does have like another little grow point grow point over here so it's not that bad. I don't know if I want to pot all three of them. I definitely want to, oh Jesus, this one has lovely roots. I definitely want to pot up this little part, even though she has, she has growth that kind of melted in the sheath. And I'm pretty sure that's because of the pest treatment that I was using, but she should reshoot. So 
I do think I'm gonna use her though, because she does have a lovely, lovely root system. And then this is the main mother plant who definitely has a fantastic root system. Alrighty, I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. I'm just gonna remove all these little sheaths because it is such a satisfying, satisfying process to do so. And yeah, like I said, this is a crawler, so they crawl along the floor of the jungle and they basically root with each little node into the floor. And this node didn't root because it was pretty much hanging at the edge of the pot. So that's why you want something longer so they can actually crawl on the soil. And that's what we're gonna give her and hopefully she will be happy also. So as you can see, this is kind of like in sections. This little node has its own root system this little node has its own root system and then this little node has its own root system and i am kind of thinking of chopping i am kind of thinking of chopping her because this way if i put her like into the into the pot like she will already be kind of a good way i mean she still will have plenty of room to crawl but I might want to like get her kind of started from the beginning. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure about the little guys. Like I don't know how many I want. Like do I want all three? Would that be... I feel like that would be too crowded. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I need to move this soil aside alrighty alrighty I have a soil mix over here ready for her now since this plant or this planter I guess I should say requires so much soil I actually went ahead and mixed up my own little soil oh god this is so heavy I mixed up my own little soil mixture which is just basic potting soil lots of pumice and a little bit of the monstera and philodendron mix from soil ninja like i said i love the monstera and philodendron mix however i would literally need probably like a whole bag or two just for this plant and like that that, that stuff can be quite expensive and again, this is a plant that I like, but not necessarily love. So I don't want to like spend too, too much money on her. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit more deeper. So that's why I mixed up, I mixed up my own little soil it's definitely not the best soil like i just used some garden soil as the base definitely definitely not the best but honestly it will do and you know what i like to say survival of the freaking fittest like you can you can either survive and live or you can you can die and that's fine with me ah, i don't know what to do should i should i like put it should i put her with the root system i mean if i chop her she might i don't know if i don't chop her i feel like she will just continue to kind of grow and be beautiful but if i chop this i don't know if she'll have enough root system over here but i do kind of oh god i almost almost dropped it and killed all of the leaves don't do that i kind of want to do it at least this little part like i feel like I feel like it will be fine without these roots, right? Or should I keep it? I'm so, I'm, God, good God, I'm so indecisive. I'm trying to think how it would look. Like, if I just kept this, that feels a little too small for the size of the plant. If I kept this, you know what? I'm just going to keep it all. I'm just going to keep it all. I'm not going to complicate. And then if I want to, I can, um, like, easily chop her later once she reaches once again the the end of the of the planter 
Yeah. I think I'm going to do that because I really don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it for the biscuits, so I'm not going to risk it for the biscuits. Okay, I'm going to put in some soil over here just so I can stabilize her and put in the little babies. And I'm also going to try to bury her stem a little bit more just so she actually can root into the soil. Okay, so we have one little baby. The baby can definitely go at the beginning. And then should I put the other one? Like, I don't know. I feel like this might get a bit too crowded, but also, you know, why not? <laughs> I mean, I have it. Why not use it? You know what I mean? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. What to do, what to do. I wish the leaves were all facing the same direction, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's put all three of them and see what will happen. I do hope she will do fine because, again, I, I mean, if this plant were to grow and be beautiful and gorgeous and have all of those big leaves, I would absolutely love it, but... Yeah, I can't say that it's like my favorite plant ever. Also, this is just the regular Degular Gloriosum. If I ha did, I even say what this is. I don't remember. If I didn't say what this is, this is a Philodendron Gloriosum, regular Degular form. Um, but yeah, if this was like some kind of special form, like the zebra or the dark form or something like that, sure, I would probably put more effort into it. But the regular one that's like very commonly available nowadays, I I don't know. I don't know it's worth my effort. I will I will I will give it a good life. Like I won't neglect it. And I will try to give it a good life, but eh, I won't I won't sell my soul for it. Let's just say that. Like there are some plants that I would sell my soul for, like my variegated monsteras, some of my climbing plants, like my um, SP Columbia, my, yeah, just plants like that. There are plants, but this one, that's like very, I mean, even the SP Columbia is now very, very commonly available. So even that one, I wouldn't be too bummed about losing it. But you know what I mean? It's just, we all have those plants where we're like obsessed with them and we don't want to part with them. And then we just have plants that are not necessarily filler, but you know, you don't have the same attachment with them, I guess. Or at least that's how I go. I, that's how I feel. I know there are plenty of plant parents who baby all of their plants and love all of their plants, which is equally, equally well. And one way isn't better than the other, nor is this supposed to be preachy. I just like to have kind of a very healthy mentality when it comes to my plants. Alrighty, she's potted up and she is looking honestly crazy. Honestly freaking crazy. But <laughs> what you gonna do? I do hope that she will, with time, sort herself out and she will also be living in a pretty, in a much sunnier spot right now. Not like sunny sunny, but like brighter light. She will receive brighter light. So hopefully that will also increase her leaf size and make her happier. But yes, she has a lot of room to crawl now, which is fabulous. And I'm glad I got this done because this pot is so much easier now to handle. I'm, I'm telling you, this terracotta bitch, like she is beautiful, but this in itself is heavier than this planter right now. And this is like a little 30 centimeter planter and this is a 50 centimeter planter. And yeah, I use like a lot of soil basically more than half this bucket so yeah i'm glad i'm glad i didn't use all of my premium soil on this but yeah that is pretty much all i had to do for today thank you so much for accompanying me i do hope you had a lovely time and i do hope you maybe did some plain chores of your own and if you did please tell me in the comment section below what you did and i hope you enjoyed this i hope you had fun and i hope you i don't know I hope you got something out of it, at least entertainment. Anyway, 
I hope you have a super amazing, fabulous day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.